First at noon, our top local story. Police say this man, Justice Andrade, killed 20-year-old Tyshawn Perry on the front steps of Perry's cousin's River Avenue home Saturday night. And this morning, Andrade was held without bail at his arraignment. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly was in court today and joins us now live with the latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. A young Providence man who's not even old enough to drink faced a judge here at District Court in Providence this morning on a charge of murder. So what's your name? 20-year-old Justice Andre turned himself into the police and is now facing the legal music. The police say he shot and killed a man early Saturday morning, possibly by mistake. 20-year-old Tyshawn Perry. The police say the other people with the victim may have been the targets that night. A prosecutor spoke to the judge. Your Honor, the allegation is that in the early morning hours of Saturday, July 19th, the defendant allegedly approached the victim in this matter and fired a shot into his back. Tyshawn Perry had been visiting relatives shortly before he was killed. He was the father of a one-year-old son. His family is furious. I believe that because he took my grandson's life, he should rot in jail. They should, get, they should lock him up forever. You know what I mean? And however the family's feeling, they got to realize how I'm feeling. I'm lost. I lost a grandson. That's my cousin. He never got into anything. He's a quiet kid. I have a grandson just like Tyshawn. And when I heard the news, I dropped the cell phone and I started crying because he did not deserve that. They had no business taking his life. He can walk around this earth. He can walk around the, the, uh, the prison yard and stuff. We can never see Tyshawn again. Justice Andrade is now being held without bail, at least until a bail hearing set for August 5th. Live at District Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.